my big memory with it is the noise underwater. It's just absolutely insane, like all these clicks and squeals and just reverberates through your body. It's like you've got nearly a thousand animals that, and all this noise is coming towards you. The way I got involved with Blue Planet 2, I kind of got through the back door in a way and that the scientist that's been studying false killer whales for the last 17 years um, contacted me and said BBC wants to do a trial shoot for 10 days. Over 10 days I thought we'd be lucky to find false killer whales at least once and on the very first day of the shoot we got a phone call at 7.30 7 that morning and a plane down in Tyrua said we found them and I was like what the heck you know and we went down and we had them five days in a row. I am still pinching myself to be involved with Blue Planet 2. Three years ago when I started filming for this, I had the camera on my knee and I had false killer whales coming towards me and I had the director of Open Ocean Blue Planet 1 on my boat and then I was his cameraman and then to hear, you know, to see this footage and have Sir David Annabura speaking over top of it, it's like, it's unbelievable, you know, it's pretty hard to improve on the CV with this one. <laughs> Sir David Attenborough came in and congratulated us and amazing, such a humble guy that he said to all the team, he said, you guys deserve all the credit and uh, you know, you've been out there doing it and he goes, I'm just the voice, you know, I was like, well, you're more than the voice. <laughs> but it's just, you know, he realises that, you know, there's, there's teams that have spent years out in the field trying to get some of this footage. It's the most special thing to have a New Zealand story on Blue Planet 2. Is I think the underwater world of New Zealand is our greatest untold story. You know, as we everybody knows about our land and our natives here, and I think the ocean's even more beautiful than what's on the land. So to have that showcase to, you know, hundreds of millions of people is just absolutely insane to have a New Zealand story there. Very special. <laughs>